In this section, you will learn how to activate your sexual energy to rechannel it back to strengthen your internal energy system. Our bodies direct their best energy and physical substance to the testicles to manufacture sperm and to the ovaries to energize the ovum for possible conception. This sexual or reproductive energy is called Qing Qi. Qing Qi is a powerful fundamental source of energy in our body. When we are not using the Qing Qi to produce a child, we can channel that powerful energy back into our own body to improve our health and internal strength. For women, this process is called transforming blood into qi. For men, it is called transforming sperm into qi. When activated, the sexual energy plays an important role in augmenting the original force energy. The energy is activated through massage. Men focus on massaging the lower abdomen, the kidneys, and the testicles, which are considered the external kidneys. Women focus on massaging the breasts, the kidneys, the liver, and the ovaries. Women begin by massaging the breasts, massaging first up and outward, focusing toward the heart center behind the breastbone then down and inward, focusing toward the point opposite the heart on the spine between the two shoulder blades. Next, women massage the kidneys, warming and activating them. Finally, women massage the ovaries area, including the liver on the right side and the spleen on the left side. Massaging first up and outward, and then down and inward. Men begin by massaging the kidneys, warming and activating them. Next, men massage the testicles. Then men hold the testicles in the left hand and massage clockwise around the navel with the right hand. And then hold the testicles with the right hand and massage counterclockwise around the navel with the left hand. This very valuable energy can also be lost out of the body. It can drain out or be drawn out through the vaginal opening and the opening of the uterus in women, and out through the penis and the prostate gland in men. Both men and women need to close off the two passes through which the energy can leak. To lightly close the vagina here, and the mouth of the cervix right in here. So if you um, so you see the mouth. So it's actually is right on the perineum. You, if you if you look carefully here, both of them is right on the perineum. Oftentimes we talk about contract the perineum. Here the vagina. Here the perineum, very close. Here the anus. Now if we open it, so here the vagina, the whole vagina here, and here the perineum area. So you contract the vagina and a little bit lower near the anus, okay? That is the area, you see? The mouth of the cervix here. So here the vagina, here the inside here, the anus and the cervix area. So when you close a little bit inside, and the way to lightly close is the mind and the eye lightly contracts, you closing that part, okay? And it's not very tense. When you tense, you're going to get cramp in the stomach. Aware of the gland of the penis here, and lightly close this area. Lightly close. Okay? A lot of them is beginning is like a lot of mental, but actually very physical. Feel it close. And um, here the perineum. You see that? Here the anus, here the perineum. When you contract the perineum, when you contract the perineum, Okay? Here the penis. When you contract the perineum, you are closing this area. But a little bit more deeper part. So here the perineum, when you contract the perineum, you actually close this area. Because you have a urogenital diaphragm and light spindle muscle, that you can close them. Okay? Now, but with not all the time very muscular contract, you cannot hold that way. 
but we train like it's just like you're mentally and a little bit physically close them and amazing you stop the leak